Okay, every once in a while you see some truly unique hot sauces come across your, pl your plate, your lap. You see some very unique hot sauces come across and this is one of those days. And as I was getting ready to film this video, this was an accident. Um, so Iris Spikes is one of my favorite hot sauce companies. Spike is an amazing human being. Um, I had the opportunity to meet Spike uh, at Albuquerque at the Fiery Food Show this year. She's got a fantastic podcast that it does with Zach, who makes my hot sauce, and Claire from Butterfly Bakery. It's a wonderful podcast called Flavor Balance Heat. Definitely check it out. Anyways, some of these sauces sound insane. Uh, so he sent me two new ones. These are his two newer sauces, and this is one that I've had for a little while, but I've not tried yet. And this is a black coffee mole. And if you've been, if you know me or have been following my channel, you know how much I love mole. And I have never tried this sauce before. Uh, it's been sitting back there, and I am now finally getting to try this sauce. I don't know what is taking me so long, but I'm here now. I don't know what a black coffee mole is. You just call it a coffee mole. You know, like I technically, like my co my mole, cafe mole is a black coffee mole. I have it sitting right here because I want to be able to compare and contrast it if I need to. I have not looked at the ingredients of any of these. So premium line, seasonal line, and this is part of his premium line too. So spring peas, Dijon, lavender, and green habanero. What? Watermelon curry. Sounds insane. How cool are these freaking labels, by the way? I know Zach works with like a variety of different art, Zach. I know that Spike works with a variety of different artists on his labels, and he has some of the best labels in the business. Um, and they're also large bottles, eight ounce bottles, I believe. Yep, eight ounces. Uh, all right, we're gonna start here. Uh, so it's got a bike on it, it's got lavender on it, we got like a field going on. I don't know what the bike's about, maybe it's just because it's spring. We got green habaneros, so like early picked habs. Um, this vibrant hot sauce marries the fresh sweetness of spring peas with the warmth of Dijon mustard. Lavender adds floral elegance while tart green habaneros bring in a medium heat that lingers pleasantly on the palate. The result is a complex and balanced sauce perfect for drizzling over grilled chicken, fish, or vegetables, or for adding a kick to your uh, favorite dips and or marinades. Okay. Whoa, spring peas number one ingredient. Good lord. Apple cider vinegar, filtered water, lemon juice, reduced right white wine, green habanero. I don't know if I've ever had green habaneros in a hot sauce before. Sugar, salt, lavender, Dijon mustard, which has got a whole bunch of stuff in it that's normal. Whole grain mustard, which has got a whole bunch of stuff in it that's normal. Um, and then xanthan gum. This is one of the more interesting flavor profiles I have seen in quite some time. Um, I love mustard. I don't think I've ever had spring peas in a hot sauce before. Oh, uh, the lavender should be very interesting. It smells like mustard and peas. That's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, this seems like it'd be really good for like chicken or um, vegetables, uh, things like that. You know, like I almost want to treat this like a um, like a vinaigrette in a way. So that's what it looks like. It looks fantastic. It's got like it's a, it, it looks like peas and mustard together which sounds unappetizing, but it sounds very appetizing to me. Anyways, cheers, let's see how this works. That is crazy. That is really good. What a weird sauce in a fantastic way. Good God. I can taste all of these flavors. I get mustard, very complex mustard, there's two different kinds of it. What's the sweetness in here? Oh, sugar, okay, sugar. I was like, I'm getting some, there's a little bit of sweetness going on. This is delicious. Um, I immediately want to put this with Speedy's, which is like a upstate New York thing. It's basically um, chicken chicken chunks that are marinated in a very heavy vinaigrette for multiple days. And it's like ceviche starts happening and then you grill it over charcoal. It's like very like charred on the outside, juicy on the inside. I think this would pair well with it. I think like um, the yin yang of like a lot of char and white meat. So you can use this with fish that you like sear really hard or chicken things like that use this as a salad dressing um yes marinades would work really good marinades for like vegetables would work really well you could serve this with like portobello mushrooms for instance okay, okay for instance at our house we eat vegetarian quite often and we do grilled portobello mushrooms and so what i would do is i would take those big portobello mushroom caps um so cap side up so i like the way it would grow and then put that like down grill that for a long time, flip it over, and then it's kind of like a bowl. Fill this up and just kind of let it like 
filter into the mushroom because mushroom, mushrooms take up a lot of uh, moisture. Um, and then slice it like you would, like a steak, and then keep this sauce kind of in there. Man, that'd be so freaking good. And that's what I'm gonna be using it for. Good lord, that is tasty. Um, very mild. Um, I'm not getting as much of the lavender. The lavender is, it's there, but it's extraordinarily subtle. Uh, like, I, I forgot that it was there until, like, I was just, I, I was, like, putting it away and I saw the lavender and I was like, oh, is there lavender in there? And I'm getting it, but it's almost like, it's like a whisper on the palate, like, when you're all done with it. That sounds so hokey and hipster of me to say, but that's how I'm getting it. Okay, watermelon curry. I'm hoping I get a lot of the watermelon flavor in this sauce. Um, I think it's gonna, I, I, not, I mean, it doesn't need anything, but I think that's gonna be um, pretty important. The number one word in the sauce is watermelon. And what kind of curry? Bow down to the queen of summer with this Caribbean, oh, I love Caribbean sauces, Caribbean delight. Um, combining sweet summer ripe watermelon and charred tomatoes with the fruity heat of scotch bonnets, you are talking my language there, Spike. All infused with rich, Aromatic Caribbean curry. What is, I don't know, I'm not familiar with Caribbean curry. Watermelon, fire roasted tomatoes, which has got some stuff in it. Apple cider vinegar, uh, salt, sugar, curry powder, dehydrated minced garlic, red pepper flakes. Red pepper flakes are on here twice. Red pepper flakes, red pepper flakes. It's doubling down on it. Thyme, arrowroot, and xanthan gum. Now, okay, it says um, curry powder. Um, I, I, what kind of curry powder? This is me being like not knowledgeable enough. Like I've had different kinds of curry and I'm, I honestly don't know much about curry to a degree that I, like, is there a difference between Caribbean curry? So the red pepper flakes are the only thing hot in here? I mean the curry powder might have a little bit of heat, but not really. All right, cheers. It looks beautiful. I hope I get some watermelon flavor. That is super good. There is some heat too. It's, I mean, it's got this scotch bonnet. I'm confused on the um, the uh, the ingredient list in here. I'm assuming that where it says red pepper flakes twice, that's where the um, scotch bonnets would be coming in, because there's definitely some scotch bonnet heat going on here, um, which is this is it's cra this is crazy. This is delicious, freaking delicious. I definitely get. The watermelon flavor, I'm getting the curry. Um, this is juicy, delicious, mild in heat. I'm gonna say it's a two on my heat scale because it is above a one, but it is definitely very, very mild. This is freaking killer. Um, I wish I would've gotten this like earlier in the summer. I wanna put this on watermelon. Um, but this would like work really good with fruit. Um, even though there is not, I mean, there's fire roasted tomatoes and things that are going in there, but like another one you could use is like a salad dressing basically. Um, I would use this like, you know, like, like okay, like um, salads that have like mandarin oranges or pomegranates or something like that. Like I feel like this would be a really good addition to that as like a, like a dressing kind of thing. Um, crazy good. You can dress greens before you're putting on like a cold cut sandwich with this. Like really, really tasty. Um, okay. Okay, this is the one I'm the most interested in, faux show. Lots of ingredients, love it. Okay. This premium hot sauce is part of our annual single batch line of sauces processed and bottled by Spike himself. It only comes around once a year, get it while you can. Okay, all hail the queen of darkness. With bold black coffee, a blend of toasted chilies, roasted nuts, and seeds, sweet raisins, and black onyx cocoa, creating a unique sauce that's rich, complex, and mysteriously dark. Ooh, it's, ooh, it seems thick, good. Good. All right, ingredients. Vinegar, apple cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar, coffee, lime juice, fire roasted tomatoes, salt, uh, coffee again, uh, chili de herbal, cinnamon, tahini, uh, roasted peanuts, roasted almonds, sunflower seeds, basilla peppers, guajillo peppers, sugar, raisins, arrowroot, minced garlic, black onyx cocoa, minced onions, water, paprika, cumin, coriander, sesame oil, chipotle, Garlic powder, onion powder, oregano, clove, black pepper, cilantro, nutmeg, porcini powder, and xanthan gum. Good God, there's a lot of ingredients in here. Um, I think I'm gonna be liking this one a lot. Wow, that is a beautiful one. This is exactly the way I want it to look. Um, good God, that smells good. I'm normally not a fan of dark roasted coffees, um, but I think in a mole it could work really well. 
Um, I like my coffees light roasted because I like to be able to taste the actual coffee, not the roasting process. Um, but I do think in molas that it would work. Okay, anyways, cheers. I got to eat it first. It's about to leak off the spoon. That is incredibly savory. Dark, savory, delicious. Um, so concentratedly complex and, and ultra, 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 ultra savory. Thick, molassesy, but not molasses flavor. I'm talking about like textures. Um, lots of cocoa powder, lots of um, um, like toasted powder, toasted seeds and peppers and good dark amazingness. Good God, this is wild. So the different vinegars and maybe even the lime juice like brings this like like slight level of tartness to it. This is a crazy sauce. I, I keep missing the peppers. What is the peppers? Oh, there's, I mean, there's tons, but like where's the heat coming from? Okay, so Pasilla, Guajillo, Chipotle, that's about it. So it's, it, again, another mild one on the heat scale. This is completely different than my hot sauce. Ultra savory, the only thing that I wish I was getting was a little bit more of like the nuttiness to this, to like bring up a little bit of the sweetness, just ever so slightly. But the, I mean, that's me being super nitpicky because I think this is like exceptionally good. Mole is super hard to make. And this is a very, very good mole. Uh, he's calling it medium heat, I'd call it mild. He's calling the, it doesn't have a flavor on, or a heat level on this. Uh, medium spiced, and he doesn't have one on this. I would say all of these are pretty mild in my opinion, um, but wildly fo uh, fl flavor forward. Okay. Spike's insane. Spike makes zillions of different flavors of hot sauce. He has some of the coolest hot sauces I have seen. This is one of my all time favorite hot sauce companies. Um, these are, you should get all three of these sauces if they're available. These are still available. I think this is from last year's batch. I mean, it's still good through 2026. Um, the Best Buy, at least, is on this. So um, I'm not exactly sure when I received this. So um, if it's not out yet, you might be able to pick it up soon, I'm assuming. But um, all three of these are absolutely worth um, picking up. I'm thinking about starting to do like a, like a buy, try, or must buy kind of thing. Where it's like, um, or like, like don't buy this, you should try this, or you have to buy this when it comes to hot sauces. That's what I'm trying to say. And um, I think that these are absolutely right there in the you must try to must buy realm. Like, right there. Like, you're going to be happy if you get these. Okay. All right. Um, I love you guys. Oh, I need to give a shout out to my hot sauce subscription of the month. Apocalypse. This is unbelievably good. So this is my hot sauce of the month for my hot sauce club. This is by this is Werewolf Piss by Apocalypse. It is a garlic sesame and habanero howling hot sauce. I did a review on this on the channel like a month ago, and this is one of the best sauces I've had all year. This sauce is insanely good. So immediately, I literally filmed the video, I got up, I went into my office, and I DM'd this um, Apocalypse on um, Instagram, we started the conversation. I met this guy in Albuquerque as well, the same weekend I met Spike. And I was like, how can we get Werewolf Piss into the, uh, the sub box? So it is this month. So if you sign up for my subscription hot sauce uh, club, um, this month you'll be getting this. And I got some killer ones coming and some super fun stuff happening next year. So please jump in if you like hot sauce. If you're watching this video, I'm sure you do. But um, all right, I love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going <laughs> to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.